Matt, here we go again. Day one, new season. How are you feeling? Yeah, really excited. Um, it's been a good pre-season. Um, it's been very enjoyable. We've had some good results, um, some tougher tests, which is always good. And um, yeah, we're raring to go and looking forward to look forward to Saturday. Talk me through the summer for you, because it's the first time we've, we've caught up. Do you quite enjoy the pre-season and, and the fitness side of things and, and getting back into it? Yeah, so um, I think it's the first couple of days, obviously just meeting the new faces and, and getting back into things. Um, and then the hard work sort of starts. We had a tough first week, first couple of weeks um, running-wise. Then it was just all about tactical, really, and how the gaffer wants to play this season. Um, it's a, The way the gaffer plays is, is, is a difficult sort of... Um, sort of skill to sort of master um you have to be very good on the ball um your sort of discipline and your positioning has to be spot on so yeah the new lads had to come in and sort of work on that um so he wanted to get that in early doors so everyone knew um the way he wanted to play so yeah it's been very exciting it's very good um and yeah we're all really excited would you say for a newcomer coming into this side that it's quite a high demand on you from the second you come through the door yeah definitely um there's it's definitely going to be some teams in this league that are going to be more direct and sort of ball forward and and get after it, which is a lot easier, I would say, than than the way the gaffer wants to play. Um, but if you're a footballer, the way the gaffer does want to play, that's what you want to play. Um, you want to get on the ball as much as possible, um, and it gives it gives you a chance to show you show how good you are. Um, so yeah, it's a it's a been sort of a process of everyone getting to to know the gaffer and the way he wants to play, and then gelling as a as a squad. In terms of the new signings to the club, then not massive turnover, but there's definitely a new, few new faces. What have you made of, let's start off, Ollie Wright in goal, brand new goalkeeper, what have you made of him so far? Yeah, he's been brilliant. Um, you can see his sort of presence. Um, he's a big lad. Uh, he'll come for crosses. He's good with his feet. Um, obviously, had done well at Worthing last year, um, playing against them. And I, I said to the lads after he was a decent keeper. So yeah, he'll be a great addition for us. Um, and I'm looking forward to, to watching him play. In terms of the middle of the park with yourself, you're going to have Brett with you this season. The game I saw against Bristol Rovers looked like Brett was more in that defensive midfield position and you could push on a bit more. Is that the way you foresee it happening during the season or do you think it might mix it up slightly? I think it would it, be a mix-up. There's, uh, Like I said, there's a few bodies in there now. It's, uh, it's competition every week, so um, we will have to be on our, on our A game to, to start, really. So um, we've got a good, good group in, in midfield, um, and I'm sure throughout the season there'll be a lot of different sort of uh, combinations of players that will play in there. Um, so, yeah, no, I'm looking forward to it. Hartlepool, Saturday, what do you know of them as a club? Well, obviously, I played with under sorry Darren Sol for for a good few years. Um, I know there'll be um, high intensity from from minute one. Um, they'll be very athletic and sort of um, they play for a press. Uh, so it'll be a difficult game. And yeah, knowing his teams will be will be a difficult game. It'll be a it'll be a battle. That's for sure. What is the type of reception do you think Darren will get? This is the first time back here. I think we'll get a positive one. I think so. Um, like I said, we had a few good years here. Um, we got playoffs that that year. Um, unfortunately, we just missed out on um, sort of promotion, really, the COVID year. Um, and then, as a, as a player, for, for me, I had lots of respect for him as a, as a man, but as a manager as well. We went obviously through some tough times when he was here as well. Um, but yeah, so I think he'll get a, get a good reception. When you have conversations within your player group, obviously last season. The ambition was promotion, that was done and dusted. You struck me as an ambitious group. Frank said last season he wants back-to-back. -back. Is that a realistic prospect, do you feel, that promotion could be on the cards again this season? Yeah, 100%. I think um, we, if you go into a season and not wanting that, you're you're doing it wrong, to be honest. Um, you have to... The sky's the limit, really. Um, and you have to you have to believe it as a squad. Um, we've got great togetherness in there, and that can take you a long way alone. Um, so, yeah, like I said, we've added some good additions to the squad. We've got a strong squad. Um, so, yeah, we'll definitely be looking, for, looking to do that. And in terms of your own personal development, what do you want to push on with your game this season? Um, I want to add more goals. Um, Definitely want to do that, um, and just again be um, as fit as possible, be available to play um, as many games as possible, and and lead the team really, and, and help sort of push us forward to, to where we want to be. I didn't get a chance to ask this, Mark, to Mark before, um, but how good is it that you're actually getting rid of quite a few of the long away trips early in the season? So you've got Gates head out the way early. You've um, I've forgotten what the second game of the season is. Was Boston filed? 
Boston filed, and the second one was even further, wasn't it? Now gone mind blind. But you've got quite a few massive away days for early doors in August, September. Is that quite good to get those done and dusted while you're not in like a wet December? Yeah, evening? yeah, it is it is nice. Like you said, the when it's later on in the season, the weather changes. It's it can be a bit of a bit of a trek and, and not a nice one. So it's nice to get them out of the way um, early doors, and then yeah, we'd be looking to to pick up as many points as possible, have a positive start, and then yeah, see what happens. Brain tree. <laughs> yeah, so on. yeah, yeah. All right, well, good luck Saturday. Cheers, thank you. There's been a good impl- um, impl- implementing of youngsters during pre season. I've been fortunate enough to be to a few other friendlies. They've done very well, haven't they? They must be sort of pushing some of you guys for, for places, I would think, onto the bench. Yeah, they've been brilliant um, from, from day one, really. When they come in, it's, it's nice that the gap has sort of given opportunity for them to, to come and train with us and, and be involved in the pre-season games. They can now see there's a pathway to the first team if they if they perform well and, and, and do well. So, yeah, it's nice for them. Um, they've been brilliant with the group, so hopefully we'll, we'll see more of them.